Hello, this is Lenny Strombo. Lenny Strombo is my in-game name, and it's been a minute since I've made a video for Shroud of the Avatar. Um, this is actually my uh, final video. Um, I never did a wrap-up video once I stopped playing the game, and I'm looking to do some more videos, some more Twitch streaming stuff, but, you know, I just never put a bow on my experience in my game time with Shroud of the Avatar. So that's what this video is. This is uh, my last and final review. I've got Elena here, um, it's my main character in the game, and I'm actually in Brittany Estates. Brittany is part of the central towns that are in Shroud of the Avatar, and Brittany Estates is the opulent per, you know, part of it. Every property that's in here is a city level um, property. So there's no villages, no row homes, no town homes, it's all city level. So first thing, just to get a city lot, it was you know generally expensive to do. Um, so the people are in here are, you know, this was supposed to be the high end of it. Um, I have a city, a city deed, and I found a spot right here in the center part of town. I look at this right by the bank and all this, and it was just an open spot. So I just claimed it. That is one of the first things, I, you know, I got, I got to talk about how I'm going to go through this review. Do I talk about the good, the bad, the bad, the good, in what order? Um, I like to end it on a good note, so I'm going to talk about what I don't like about the game. Um, game was mismanaged. It, You know, when it first started, and we think about back in 2016 2017 lots of people playing you know you would run through the area you'd see people running through and gradually over time you can look at steam chart numbers you can look at twitch stream numbers you can look at the number of youtube videos that are out there it went to pot and that's why you know there's a lot of reasons why um, people complain that it was mismanaged you know what lord british did dark star and even now with chris spears what they did was just crap uh, they mismanaged and run the thing into the ground. Um, people could say they, they didn't achieve or didn't go through fully on what the uh, what the goals or what the direction of the games from the Kickstarter. I think a lot of it, you know, has to do with, you know, the game need to be viable. The game need to pay for itself. So they went after the money and they went where the money was. And to be honest, most of the money was in selling things through the shop and, you know, people buying, you know, what people refer to as pixel crack. I like pixel crack. I like decorating, having fun with it. I have nothing against that. But when that's the whole game and that's all you do, you know, you're eventually going to bore people out because it's the same darn thing, everything over and over. So what's my, you know, that's just opinion. That's just, you know, kind of just general anecdotal stuff. So, you know, how do I, you know, how do I justify what I'm saying there? There's no one playing the game, literally. I can walk through. Most of the time, if I pop in right now, so I was just starting to set up seeing someone in game was a rarity. Um, I could see some things on chat, on the universal chat, but there's, people aren't here. I definitely know all the people that I knew, played with, had fun with, built up relationships, left. Now, these aren't relationships that are just kind of, oh, I just knew that person. I, I still play with and, and talk with a lot of the people that I played with. We just play in other games. Um, the end result was we went to other games because it got boring here. Now, I'm here in this big house, and I just kind of put this one up here. I'm going to go down into the little workshop area. Uh, Elena Strongbow is, you know, is an archer, and her focus was always in archery and death mage. Um, the other thing from a crafting perspective, I'm, I wanted to make bows. I wanted to make bows in the game, make the best bows, and sell them. That was the intention. But when there's no people to sell them to, it's not worth doing anything. But the grind to actually do that is just, it's real. Um, the idea of making a bow in this game, they say the system is deep. It is deep, but it's dreadfully deep. Like if I want to create a bow, I've got to go either buy or dig up a ton of wood. Let's say I want to make 10 bows. I've got to go get a bunch of wood out there. I've got to go get a bunch of special materials, whether it's cinnamon bark or pine resin, whatever else, to enhance that wood to make it to specialty woods. Then I got to get all the materials to build it. Then I've got to actually take the wood, turn it into timber, then I've got to take it over and actually turn it into actually a bow staff. And once I've got that, I'm like, okay, great, I've got a bow staff. I have to repeat the same process to go through to generate strings. And you need two strings per, per long bow. So it's double as hard than the bow staff. So if I want to do supple leather or whatever string, I've got to go through and, and, and dig those up, go through the whole process. That's all the effort just to get to the point where I can make the bow, the basic bare bones bow. Then we get into, oh, okay, we got to add magical properties, enchanting it or masterworking it, putting jewels in it and whatnot. It just takes forever. 
I literally could spend a whole gaming session barely getting enough to do that. Now, once I've done that, and I think I've pulled up most of the stuff in here, I've got a base set of materials that are in here that to make 10 bows. Now, why am I making 10 bows? Because the crafting process is dreadful. Because your chances, even at a GM level, is, is horrible. And what does it mean for me to make a good bow? If I'm going to masterwork it or if I'm going to enchant it, I want to put three solid good enchantments or masterworks on it. Gets it to enough level. Four would be great, but four is just a pipe dream. Um, three is, you know, if I did three of each, that's just, that's a hard to do. Like if I want to do on 10 bows, I'm going to do three masterworks. I need a total of 150 ingots, 15 per bow to do it. Out of the 10, I'm lucky if I get two that had three solid good choices on it. And then I've got to go through the enchanting process, which is a little bit smaller on that. Um, and even that process, that's why there's only 30 here. I don't need 150 because most of them will fail. So I got two. So we go through that and put the enchantments. It's rare if I get both of those to work or one of those to work. Um, I've got strings. I said we need double strings. So if I have 10 bow stabs, I need 20 strings. Here's 16 supple leathers, which are wild to make. These are uh, strings of speed, elven ones that I salvaged from killing elven archers out there. And I got two regular ones out there. Once I'm done with that, I've got that, and let's pretend I get to what I want, and I'm already going to put a, uh, a pattern on there, which is a little bit easier to get. So I'm going to do that while we're kind of talking through this. I'm going to go over to here to the, um, to the uh, crafting table, carpentry table. Let me pull up the uh, pattern for this. And I think it's down here. There it is. So I'm going to double-click and let it pick up one of my things in here. Now I picked up the supple leather, maple, and wax. I've got enough for, I think, a couple of those. Let's let that one run. Let's see if I craft that one. Okay, so that's a plus two. I'm gonna craft another one here. That's a plus three. So I'm even at another part of my bow. I'm Actually, if I look at that, let's take all that and let's bring up the string here. So we're gonna look at our stav. Here's the longbow. It's plus five base weapon plus 10 crit chance. That's just the base one with a plus two. The plus three is 10 on crit damage, one on damage resistant, 10 on crit chance, plus five on durability. It's a better staff. It's a better longbow than the first one. So even out of the first two, the first one here is just junk. I'm not going to use it. So that's just kind of, you know, and here I am just basically uh, over a GM and I'm, I can't make a normal bow. I can't guarantee myself a plus three bow. So I'm gonna go through and make as many as I can. There's another plus two. That's just, that's a waste. Another plus two. A plus two. Another one here. Plus two. Plus two. There's a plus three. Now these are with elven ones, so hopefully this is a plus three because that's a better string on it. Plus two, yuck. Here's one with the speed strings. See how that one looks. Plus three. Okay, so I've got no other uh, materials here. So if we look at this, I've got three plus threes and seven plus twos. I mean, that right there is just start and that's let's go back and look at our skills on here go back to my carpentry i'm 118 on carpentry i've got carpentry masterwork none of the stuff down here this is your base one to create that and it just sucks 10 bows three i've already just you know 30 percent chance of basically getting you know a a, a solid start um i'm not going to knock them i'm still going to try and use them but I'm going to sit there and hope that I can do it, do it on these three. So I'm going to start off with the, I'm going to start off with these actually. Um, I'm going to put one of the lower bows on here. And then I'm going to take five silver. So we're going to craft it. Go through this. Got a success. Critical. Disabling shot. Strength. Eh. None of them, I mean, I'm not a big fan of disabling shot, but I'll put that on there. 
So I got, it's added in, you know, it's plus four, and you can see it's got disabling shot that's on here too at 15.6. So I'm going to grab another five. This is the second masterwork. Let's see what happens there. Cool. Disabling shot power. This is on damage on it. And this one's on blinding shot, uh, debuff power. I like blinding shot. So now I've got disabling shot debuff, blinding shot debuff. This is not a great bow, but it'll go through and show why. And then let's talk here. One last one. This is the one that I've got a 45% chance. Okay, that's not like great odds. 50-50, I just basically call it. Getting past this one is the toughest part. And look, I got one. That's lucky. That's great. Too bad the other ones aren't good. So I'm going to take multi-shot. Or damage. Yeah, I'm going to take multi-shot. So I've got a plus eight bow here. We're going to take that off and say, okay, that's doable. Put another one up here. Let's just take five here. Get rid of my skills here. All right, multi. Uh, okay, we're going to take multi-shot on this one. Take this, add another five. Silver, a fail. As soon as it fails, I just salvage it out. It's just gone. So, I get wood scrap. So there aren't my ingots, there aren't all my hard work, and I got 24 wood scrap. The return on the effort is, even when you fail like that, if you have to salvage it, is just disgusting. Um, it's depressing. I think that's probably a better word. So, I'm going to put my five up here, start a new bow. Okay, aim shot. I'm a big fan of aim shot. Put another five on here. 82% chance. Cool. Multi shot. I'll take multi. Now we've got a pretty decent start on this plus two bow. Um, 8.1 on multi damage and 15.6 on aim shot. So let's take our last chance here on the third level. There she goes. Failed. That also loses part of the durability on it. And it's just, and that one only get 12 back. Great. Um, it's just, I said, it's disheartening. It's just, that work is just gone. Anything you did to prep to get this up is just history. And I said, I'm not a, I'm not a new character doing this. So this is what it looks like. Rapid fire. Love rapid fire. Um, take another five here. We get, ooh, blinding shot, weapon crits. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the blinding, I guess. And then we'll take one last one. Here's the third one. 50-50 chance. Loser. Okay, so that's gone. Take care of that. Move it off the screen there. Another plus two. And this is what I mean by the grind. And I said, this isn't a grind for leveling or whatnot. This is just abusive. And this is part of the game that we really, people just, I think, just start like, disliking. Piercing shot's good. I like piercing. If I can get piercing in rapid fire, that's always like a fan, a, a favorite of mine. Okay. Weapon damage, weapon damage, base damage. Uh, I'm going to go for the crit chance. Oops, keep hitting that uh, caps locks key. Here's the 50-50 chance. Will it make it? No. Salvage it. Get out of the way. Oops, put you on. Put our five back in. First one. And I said, this just goes over and over. Blinding aim shot. I'm taking aimed. Five ingots. 82%. Okay. Strength, critical, chance. I'm going to take crit chance. And here's another 50 50, that third one. <laughs> and once again, salvage, get some what? Five wood scrap. Thanks, Portalarium or Cat Nip or whatever we call the company these days. Okay, so that's all the plus twos are gone. Now, there's just one that we started here. This guy was plus two. 
and it got there. Now, the only way I really, really take this is if I take a random crapshoot kind of chance. I've got a 14% chance. It's a gamble. This is going to fail by all intents, but you never know. If I hit it, I, it could be a decent bow. So I'm going to do that. And of course, I got what I was pretty much expecting. Nothing. So back to the three plus threes I've got. Now I'm going to hold it. This one's got supple strings. This has got uh, ch -ch -ch string, uh, speed strings. This has got just regular old elven strings, I think. Got to look at that. Yep, we'll start out with the supple. That's the, the lighter one. So we'll put the five on here. So the first seven have netted me nothing. Here's the first one. Blinding shot. Uh, okay. It's kind of like a meh. Five more. 82%. Rock maple, all this stuff. Let's see. Ooh. Debuff power. Multi-shot. I like multi-shot because as an archer, if you've got aggro on a few, you know, being able to hit multiple targets. So there we go. I've got a plus seven. Masterwork twice bow. I'm going to go for my third shot. The 50-50 shot. Do I get it? No. Just get rid of the bow. Put you on 10. Thanks again for 10 pieces of wood scrap for all that work. Now we're going to put five. Okay, piercing shot. Thank you. These are the speed strings, I believe. Elven, both strings of speed, yeah. Those strings are rare, those are harder to get, but I love them. Dexterity, attack speed, rapid fire damage. You know, so you want to get, if you're hoping for a masterwork, you really want to get a rapid fire, just to really kind of juice that thing up. Okay, blinding shot, disabling shot, weapon damage. Uh, I guess I'll take blinding. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Last one. Number three. Do I get a 50-50 one here? No. I salvage it. Do I get any of my strings back? No. I got wood scraps. Not even like a piece of silver. It's, it's depressing. All right, so... Oh, wait, I've got a maple bombo here, plus two. I forgot that one. Let's do that guy. Doink. Okay, blinding shot, weapon crit. I'm going to take what? Crit. And put five more in here. 82% chance. Piercing, multi. I'll take multi. And third shot. Do I get anything on it? No. Now I just got a plain longbow stab, which is useless. So, last one here. I think this has got elven bow strings. We may have a regular one. Um, let's put this guy in. Oh, no, this is just a raid, plain string, so... Oh, well. None of the special strings are on there, but that's all right. It's probably not going to work anyway, so... Masterwork number one. Okay. Aimed, piercing that. I'll take aim. Now, I also want to show that something just happened there. I actually finally hit my GM. I was at 99, so I just crossed into that 100 range on that. So, woohoo, another GM. But, as I'm saying, a lot of good that does me. Um, trying to hit these, these chances. So it's 82.6. I think it was 82.4. I actually hit the GM level, that 100 level, and I went up by 0.4. It's just, it's horrible. It's just horrible. So we're going to take piercing shot. So I've got a... This has got supple leather strings. I've got... What do we got? Aim shot damage and piercing shot damage. 15.6 and 16.1. 
Nice. Will this work? Will it actually let me make this? Look at that. Nothing. So, as I said, I didn't get a lot of gold ingots over here or a lot of patterns because as I go through this, trying to make a bow with three masterworks while I'm GM level is a total failure for 10 bows. The game works against you. All you do that grinding to raise all those skills up and you can't make a darn bow. That's a problem with this game. And that's replete throughout of it, you know, throughout it. That's just a system that's just broken. You think about all the other systems they put in, whether it was the the whole I got a booze box over here. They put in they made this whole thing because it was a Kickstarter kind of thing. They talked about uh the whole uh uh, alcohol spirits, being able to make stuff and make it part of the game. They made all this stuff, put it in. It basically doesn't let you do, it doesn't do much. It doesn't add much to anything on here. Uh, it's an incomplete system. Uh, let's talk about stealing. Um, running around, wanting to be a thief. No, can't do that. PvP nerfed it. You know, this is why the people left. And this is, you know, it's, it's a game of dress up and you can make pretty houses and make stuff like clothes and you know, you can make the basic clothes, but if I look at these cool outfits, most of these outfits are from outfits that I actually buy, had to buy in the store. None of it is. They say, well, you always have a a, uh, a craftable version in game. Yeah, like a row home, the, the, the row home for the uh, the gardening one looks like a pauper's house. And if you go to the store, you can buy one that's a little bit fancy. And they just drive it. It's just a pixel crack and a money grab game. And, you know, and if there's no people to kind of show it off to, What's the point? I mean, I'm in this opulent house. Let's bring up the uh, the Kodo store. Let's see what they're charging these days. So we think about the crowns. They charge. Let's get, I need a nice round number. Let's just do, let's do this one. 60 bucks or a, let's do 11,000 for a hundred bucks. Just round it out, 11,000 Kodos for a hundred bucks. Let's talk about the property I'm on. Let's do the property deeds. I am a city, place anywhere, tax-free. I'm a tax-free one. So I still would have to spend about $150 to get a tax version that I have to pay gold. And then I'm sure I'd probably have to spend a bit more code to actually raise it up. I'm guesstimating here. It's probably $200 just to get the lot, not the house, the lot just to be able to own the lot itself. Then, if I wanted to get this house that I'm in right now, I'll go to homes, we'll go to city. There's the ancient column on 4,000. That's $250 to own this home. Now, if there were hundreds and hundreds of players, thousands of players, maybe you could justify it. When you've got like, I don't know what the, they always see, hide the numbers. I would we'll guess that if there's a hundred people playing throughout the game at a certain time, that that's a lot. And I mean a lot, hundred people uh, concurrent. Uh, if they want to argue that, then, then then show the numbers, but they never do because they know once they show the numbers, then the, the, the hood, the cover's off. And I think a lot of people just kind of give up the ghost, at least the people who are left. So but you don't have to buy a big home. You can do a village one. You can do a village property. Let's look at the village property deeds um let's do village pot tax pot no place anywhere taxed four thousand probably that it's still about a hundred bucks you're gonna have to do to raise it up maybe 75 you still have to do that hey you want a basement you got to buy that too you know you got to go through and buy let's say if i wanted a city basement hey here's another Want the big one in here? It's another eh, 40 bucks on top of it. Now you've got a house and you've got that. If you want to decorate it, go through here and, you know, buying stuff like cool furniture. You know, you, you're, you're an arm and a leg. Um, if I also look at this, I mean, you think about like the, uh, that's just own a house. If you want to own a, a player owned town, which I don't know why people even own them anymore. Um, to be honest, it's just there's not enough people to go around. I mean, there's people advertising on chat. Please come join my POT. Uh, you know, it's this is more than just a place to live or 
blah 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 and they, they can charge anywhere you know from a you know 700 bucks five seven hundred bucks up to ten thousand dollars who are they to think they can get that kind of money for a game that no one's playing um so anyways yeah that's why i don't like the game that's why people don't play the game that's why people left now if you're just playing the game for the first time it's kind of fun you know it's fun starting out learning things but you get to the point where you're just grinding and then there's just nothing there and then there's no one else and my god if you want to do something that's difficult in the beginning like if you wanted to go get let me bring up my skills here go to adventuring we're going to go to sun you want to get a phoenix you want to get to be able to summon a phoenix to be with you to go out there and kill the phoenix as a newer player or as a medium player or just been around player is impossible you really need a group Finding a group's tough, because there's no people here. Now people tell you, oh, you can always go to the friends thing, or the, the searching for party thing. I forgot the name. There's a party one. You can basically join a party. There's two up there. The experience one. This is doing a fishing contest. Who cares? Um, that, that's it. You can start one and look for it, but there's just no one here. So, anyways, but... I said the gut in the beginning part it is fun um to the point where you just you need other people or you want to play with other people or you get to the point where you're trying to you know buy or level things and it's just getting tough to do um but there are good parts and there's things that they have done all the new they added mounts the mounts are horrible the mounts are like riding a horse in minecraft they just are clunky it's just not good you still can't do anything in the water there's still no treasure systems you know, in the games, like I play a lot of solo in a lot of my games, especially like in UO or U Outlands. I play a lot of solo play. I'm part of a big guild or one of the larger guilds on, on the servers. And we do big guild events and stuff. But I play a lot of solo as well. So I'm a thief. I'm a chess picker. I go to dungeons and find chests and I dig them up and I play in there. But um, it's, you know, it's in the game, you, you're allowed to do that. You're able to do that. Their systems are geared to allow people to be solo and to be able to accomplish that. In Child of the Avatar, it just isn't. It's just not there. So it's got a lot going against it. Um, let's not talk about the storylines. The, the Quest for Love, the original storyline, is the true and only flushed out story they added in here. That whole idea of having a deep, you know, quest system and this and that is hogwash. They just didn't do it. They didn't have the people to do it, and they didn't have the time. They spent more time trying to just generate money with pixel art than actually doing the actual game. Um, the map itself, it's got, it looks great. It's got all these towns. Most of them are empty. They're just empty. and just It's just depressing at that point. Um, so I don't really like that. Um, what do I like? I mean, I saw some things I've been playing around here. That I'm gonna run up, run down south here. I'm gonna go to one of my places. Um, what I do like is they they did change and make some things. Like in some of the scenes, they started adding in more resource nodes. Whether it's uh, hey, there was a person. Wow, I saw one person. Woohoo! Um, they've added in more um, resource nodes, so it's not as hard to get because there's less people. You know, you need to be able to have more resource to kind of compensate that. So that's good. They made some of the uh, the areas a little bit tougher. I went into a random encounter with a zombie yesterday to find out I'm fighting some nasty lich dude and then some other crazy undead dude that I spent like 10 minutes trying to kill. I'm like, all right, that's good. You want some higher level content. It starts off okay and easy, then it gets really tough. And this for me was, you know, the Craig Foothills was always kind of a place I always hung out because A, I don't know which one, let's go to the... West. A, it leads to the Crag Mines, which was always a good gold resource. And it was a harder, it was a harder place to go. Lots of ghosts and skellies and some lich quests that are in there. Um, so I always liked this. I always liked it because it had a lot of um, some elven archers where I can get those bows. And it was a good skill area, so I can go around and work. But a level five area like that where you get the aggro, you, you've got to have a, a decent character. Uh, you don't want to be a newer character trying to fight through that. All right, I'm on the west side here, so I'm going to kind of run through this. I better switch over to one of my decks um what do we got here we have i'm going to do a arch death 
and an arch fires in my back up. Um, there's some skeletons and stuff here, so having the uh, having those would do. Um, the fire is needed there. I'm gonna cast up my uh, water alley. I'm gonna go kind of backwards. So nice, right off the bat, got a spot. Got some cotton, got some garlic. Look, there's an ore node. These weren't here before. I, know, I definitely know like the ore nodes weren't. So I got some cotton. Still think being GM and getting one piece of cotton is horrible. Um, got some wolves down there. Let's see if they, uh, they aggro on me. I'm looking up and around for the trees. I hate the fact that you can't chop down all the trees. The tree's a tree. All right, let's get up here. So I'm going to get my death touch out. Just kind of smack them all. Okay. Here's that multi shot that I like. Whoa, what was it? It aimed for actually the rabbit. Even the. All right, so we got that. I'm not even working on my archer here. All right. So we got three here. Let's see if we get anything from them. You need to get like uh, entrails, animal hide, nothing. What I'm looking for is like sweat or a pristine head or something in there that I can use. I said, I'm GM on my stuff on here. I got animal hide, nothing. Let's do this one. Do, do. We get in there, nothing. Basic materials. All right, so we're gonna run our way. Let's get our map back up. So make sure I'm at. Now there's a couple of archer over here. There's a tree. Look at all these trees. One, one tree. That's just paltry. It's absolutely horrible. And if they're afraid of people going through and just tearing up, then add some more. Add some more mobs into it. A useless one that you can't use, but you can sell. But it's the useless material and one piece of pine wood. I chopped down a tree and I got one piece of pine wood. Let's get this guy up. I'll zap him and maybe the other guy. He's frozen. That's why I like uh, my air magic. Let's do a, hey, so we got that. I got my corpse explosion. Love this. I think they've nerfed it a little bit, but yeah, only 125 on that for a full stack of Corp Explosion on a mediocre guy. Yeah, there's a long one. So that's one that I may get a chance to get what I needed, one of those strings. And on the fighter, I won't get anything for me. I don't do uh, fighter work. So that was boring. I got one possible stream, which I'm more likely not going to get. We'll go back up to the beginning here. Hey, another archer. So we like to kill these guys. I said, there's a chance on the bows. Let's see if I can shock them. Yep, I shocked him. What's this? A pewter pitcher. Thanks, Portalarium. It's just some of the ridiculous stuff they put in here. The loot tables are still just crazily nerfed. Um, I was talking about that zombie uh, random encounter where I ended up killing a, the liches at the end and then the big, I forgot his Anapu or whatever the heck his name was. The big looked like an Egyptian dude that was coming up. I want to see if I can get an obsidian piece here. Um, I went through it. Took me 10 minutes to kill this guy. And I got, um, I think, 52 gold. 52 gold after trying to kill that i'm like you know you could at least gave me some type of rare item you could have gave me some kodos or some something the loot tables have always been messed up yes chris spears they are still messed up and it's still ridiculous what you guys haven't done with the game on that here's a hard nose let's see if we get one of him nuke him i got two guys here so i'll do chain lightning but I'm going to do that. Let's see if I get that. Oh, I'm out of focus. Ah, that's all right. Quaff a potion. Let's 
All right, let's see what we get here. 16 gold. Here's the hardened guy. Did I get anything special? I got a plus one, so maybe that's when I can get that thing off of. Still 27 gold. Ugh. So, I haven't seen any other ore nodes. I think there's one around here, but I'm running some bad dudes here, too. All right. Hey, there's one. Just an iron piece. I'll take that. And a granite block. I'm getting over to the area I like to kind of hunt out. Hey, there's one here. I'll take that. Now, iron. Oh, here comes the wolf. And he interrupted me. So I lose my, uh, I was getting a, uh, a second a meticulous collection on that one, but that's gone. Because he interrupted me. Oops. Shot the deer. It's alright. He's a stag or obsidian. I do like that. I do like the fact that the animals attack each other. Like the mob one. The wolf is attacking the, uh, the elf here. I think that's cool. I've always liked that in the game. I thought that was something that was a good system. Not that these monsters just miraculously just live by each other and don't do anything. I got a square yellow jar. Thanks. Um, this is like most of the stuff is just stuff when I get back. I only take it because it's easy just to take all when you're running around. So I take it all and then most of the time I just destroy it when I get home. Come on. Oh, I turn on my auto. No bow. Let me go back and get my... I didn't want to skin the deer. I wanted the actual... The, uh... Piece on here. Nope. Let's go get my, uh... <sighs> How annoying. See, I didn't get my meticulous. The stuff was just sitting there waiting for me. So this is the, I'm going to run through this and just run into the mine. This is the part of the area that I like. Because I got bow, I got a bow guy here. I got a bow guy there. Here's an archer. So this is a great, another archer, another mage, fighter. This is a great area to pick, another archer. This is a great area to pick up these guys, these bows. There's, just, there's a ton of them. So now... If anybody's followed me, I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to pop a potion. For some reason, I can't pop a potion. All right. I couldn't hit the key, so something's broken on the keys where I can't do a shift and Pull that. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Use the mouse sometimes. Okay. Uh, this is where you really like chain light. I can do it without popping a potion. Do that. So I need some health. So I'm going to see if I can pop. It's still not let me pop a potion. Oh, that hurt. So now we're going to go through and do some death ray. Multi shot rapid fire. Here's that chain lightning. So I like to, I do a lot of mob control, so I like chain lightning to, put, to get a chance to freeze these guys and then, you know, doing things like multi-shot to hit a few of them. But I'm able to go through and get a lot of characters in one pass. Hey, gauntlets of dice. So that's a rare item that's now common. you got to collect four to make it uncommon, four uncommon to make it uh, rare or whatever the next level is. 
it sounds good, but it's just a grind, a grind, a grind. Let's do this guy, Drake, Mage Staff. All right, I got my ore here. You get the point. Um, so they've added the mobs in. I think the, some are a little bit tougher. They've added more resources. I like that. That's that's good. This is a place you can still kind of grind into and do that. Um, I'm trying to think what else I really like, what really makes it different outside of this one. Um, that's about it. I mean, that's literally... I like to go around and kill the view. I like going to, like, Chili Beans or the Chili Beans Dungeon, the the one that's out there that you have progressive levels or they even though they added in fight club um but honestly i said it's just it's just the same kind of mechanic i love doing sieges sieges were a great thing uh, they were hard in the beginning for you know once you got really dialed in to do that right um it can be really uh, a pain to kind of to to do if you're trying to solo it but i still can so it's good um, you know, they're, they're fun to do. I hate the fact that they turned them off like you can bypass them. The idea was that the siege laid siege to a town and made it hard to get into. Then to make it easier for the people, they turned it off. Like the passes. They turned the passes off so you don't have to go through them. Or even run through them. Because some of them were tough in the beginning. So, there's just more things that they did that was wrong than what they did was good. Um, you know, and here's the best part. You think about it like, uh... Um, Chris Spears. I always look at this. I go, um, he's got an excuse for everything and he blames everything. Like everyone else. I'm gonna go to Braemar. I actually have another house in Braemar I put. Um, getting, getting to Braemar would have been impossible before. But I went there, so I was going to Chili Beans to go do the dungeon and there, was, there are lots available, so I grabbed the village lot. Just on by the dungeon there. Um, I'm not doing really anything with it. I just put it there and claimed it. Um, but once again, they're just spots are just open. Um, but yeah, Chris, you know, explain it's unity. It's this, it's that, it's Amazon, blah, 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 blah. I like results. Results of a good game is that people are playing the game. And as you can tell, and I'm going through most of the pop to the town here. There's not much here. There's no one here. There's houses. Uh, like these guys, Laz and Jack, Buster Hart, good people. Uh, rooms and more available. Rooms for who? There's no one renting rooms. Uh, this is a lot I actually claimed. The reason I found it is that this is actually uh, where you go in to get into Chili Beans. I'm sorry, the compendium, pain and suffering. I like the fact that I had a house right beside it. I love that dungeon or going through it. It's just fun just to kind of play through the levels. So I bought this little, little I placed this little house on here and just added some stuff in there but um it's my little uh my little village home here in braemar um look i've got gray uh supply bundles I, I think they've given out enough gray supply bundles i just literally gave up and i started building walls and little things with them they're just useless um anyways so i really had a lot of hope for this I some grateful things i got i met a lot of good people got to play with a lot of good people um, you know, there are folks out there, Job, one of my homies, Bikito, Saladid folks. Um, of course, we, you know, we, we always had uh, Arius, uh, our infamous, infamous, famous, loving elf out there. Out there like me, I was trying to make, you know, bows. He was making wands. Um, great people we met and had a lot of fun. I participated in a lot of things. Um, and I'm really sad that they just took such a great start of it. And they just screwed it up and it's sad so i hop in i tool around once in a while uh, once in a while people toss me up with friends i just don't even add friends i just play solo here and there i don't play the solo game that's just pointless i just tool around um great game that had a lot of great potential and it was just wasted and i've seen zero no sign none that they're ever going to be able to turn it around um but you know, there are a lot of people still having fun playing with it. That's off to them. Um, I think it's crazy to try to justify that game is good. It's not. But they're having fun. So it's good for them. I get that. Um, you know, they, there's conspiracies. It's all the haters out there. The Redditors. I'm a Redditor. I make fun of the game all the time. As soon as someone posts something that's ridiculous, I make fun of it. Um, yeah. 
But, you know, I'm even kind of done with that. I'm, I'm mostly bored with that anyways. I just think the game kind of make the people sometimes just make fun of themselves. But, uh, yeah, a lot of potential, a lot of fun it could have be, could have been. But uh, it just isn't that. And that's just sad. I blame that on Lord British. Um, he started with this thing. Uh, I blame that on Dark Star. And I definitely blame that on uh, Chris. Um, he's the owner. He's the, the captain at the helm running this thing. If so, um, and the, you know, bust the people, the ragtag crew that's trying to do their best to be developers or QA people. I know they're trying, but at some point, trying for what? Um, good luck. I hope, you know, people who are still playing it have fun, continue to have fun. Um, I wish I could be part of that, but it's just not part of that journey. You can find me in other games. Um, you can find me in UO Outlands. You want to know what the true successor to Ultima Online is? Yo Outlands, one of the most fantastic games, um, completely redone version of Ultima Online, um, customized all over, system levels that are so deep and so intricate and so much fun. Um, you know, when you're playing around a game that has a couple of thousand active players concurrently, it's great. It's great playing with people. It's even fun dying when you get PvP'd. You learn how to play. Uh, you'll find me in other games like Starfield, still Minecraft and whatnot. Most of the AAA titles that are out there, some, you know, Diablo 4 and whatnot, Far Cries, all that. So I'll be out there. Um, you also find out I don't have a camera up here. I'm not setting up a face camera anymore. I'm eventually turning Elena into actually a, a VR a virtual model. So I should have um, her on there on the screen as a, as a VR model. Um, still me doing it, but Elena deserves more than a guy sitting at a microphone. So I'm going to introduce that. But until then, um, you know, this is a wrap up for me from Shroud of the Avatar side. And then the rest. Um, at the end here, you know, please give it, take, take a look. If you want to follow me on Twitch, you can. It's Elena Strombo. It's Elena Strombo on YouTube. Um, you can find some Instagram stuff, even the elenastrombo.com, the website, just basic website. I don't do Twitter anymore or X. Uh, Elon messed that up. I don't do Facebook. Uh, Zuckerberg messed that up. You know, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm older. I, I'm, I don't have time to tolerate with uh, pointless and ridiculous things. So if someone starts screwing up things, I just get rid of it. So no Twitter, uh, no Facebook, but the other stuff you'll find me out there. Just look for Elena Strombo. That's it. Uh, best wishes to you. Um, best wishes to anybody still playing. For those that did play, if you're watching this, I had a lot of fun. Um, I said I wish you could have more fun. Once again, this is Elena Strombo signing off from Shroud of Avatar for the last time. Take care. God bless. Have a good day.